What's going on, engineer team? This is video 9 of 10 in my Python Basics video series. In this video, we're talking about classes. Just like every video in this series, the level is beginner. In this video, we're going to talk about how to define a class, talk about class properties, class methods, how to use the self keyword, and then how to include and use that class in another file. So first, what is a class? A class at its core is a collection of properties and methods, basically a description of what something is and what something can do. So we're going to actually build a person class today. To define a class is very simple. Remember we said we're going to make a, a person class. So to define a class, use the class keyword space and you type in the name of the class. It doesn't have to be uppercase. I, by convention, I make my classes uppercase first, first letter and then a colon. Everything after that will be indented for and then this is the rest of your class body. So remember I said earlier that a class is a collection of things something is and things something can do. So as far as things something is, we typically call those properties. So you can put them anywhere in the class, but I usually put them at the top. So we're going to define a couple properties of a person. Of course, a good one might be name. And for now, we'll just set that to none. And then age, you know, set that to none as well. So that's two properties that we've defined in our class. Next is things that something can do. So maybe this person class can tell you their name and tell you their age. So now we would define a function. And defining a function in a class is just like defining a function regularly with one small difference, and that's the self keyword. So to define a function, just like we did last video, def, the name of the function, now the only difference here is you have to put self, which is an implicit keyword that references the class itself. Now, when you call that method, you don't actually have to put anything as a first argument. That's a property that is there automatically. So for say name, you know, we would print out say my name is self.name. Now you see I did self.name. I'm, I'm referencing when I do self. Dot, what I'm really referencing is whatever is up here in that class. So self.name is going to be right now none. So we'll just copy this here. You know, we'll do just my ages. Now before we go use this class, we have to give ourselves a way to insert a name and age into that person when the class is created. So to do that, we use a special method called underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And just, just like everything else, it takes self. But what you're gonna supply here is you're gonna supply the arguments that you're going to use when you create the class. And I'll explain that more later. So we're gonna supply name and age. Now, just like before, we can reference self.name and set it to the supplied name. And same with that. And again, this is going to make more sense once we go to use it. Next is inclusion and usage. And we're going to tie everything in now. So I have two files here. On the left side here, I have person.py. On the right side here, I have use underscore class.py. So to use a class from another file, you simply do from and then the name of the file, and then import, and the name of the class. So now I have person available to me. So what I can do now is I can create a new person. So I'll do like p equals person, and then parentheses. What this says is create a new instance of that class and put it into the p variable. So now here's where this init comes in. Now, if I want to establish a name and an age for this person, I would add them as arguments here. So I supply the name and I supply the age. So now that we have P, which is an instance of person, what we can do is we can call those methods, say name and say age, for instance. So to call a method in a class, simply type the name of the instance, a dot, and then you can do say name. So I'll also do say age. Then we'll come over here and we'll run that. You can see that it says, my name is Brian, my age is 37. 
Now one great thing about a class is that you can create methods that will do something to the properties and because it's an instance of that class it retains those changes. So imagine a method like have birthday. And what the have birthday method will do is it'll take the age and it'll add one to it. So right now it's set to 37 because I set it there. But imagine if I do have birthday, and then I say age again. Look at what our new result is. Now it says my age is 37, my age is 38. And I can keep doing that over and over again. And it'll keep incrementing that variable by one. And that's for the instance P, which is an instance of person. And we're done. That's classes. Comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I read every single comment. I respond to almost every comment. Subscribe if you want notifications for new videos. And if you thought the video deserved it, hit the like button. See you on video 10.